the formidable robots. Something that I've been looking to improve on is the fact that I visit a lot of sketchy websites. To remedy this, I try to visit from better known sites or sites that have credibility. But on one of these deep web misadventures, I stumbled upon a peculiar advertisement that I managed to get the direct source of later on. As you can see, it's simply a picture of Mario with vague text slapped on top, advertising a sketchy website called, GymGames290.com. At this moment, I just had to click. You only live once, right? Well the site linked to an HTML version of Super Mario Bros, hosted locally on the site through Embed. It was broken on Embed though, so I had to download it. The game didn't have a title screen, or anything fancy like that, it started immediately at World 1 Level 1. This game looked bad, Mario looked like he was ripped from Super Mario Special, and in direct juxtaposition, the Goomba were pre-rendered 3D models pacing left and right very slowly. Mario was slightly too big for the map, and it turns out nothing could kill you. World 1 Level 1 was the exact same as it was in the original, no doubt to it being an imported PNG, as none of the boxes worked. But the flagpole did. The music was a low quality out of tune MIDI, as you would expect from a game of this quality. It took longer than expected to clear World 1 Level 1, no doubt because of Mario's sluggish walking speed, but I eventually made it to World 1 Level 2. World 1 Level 2 seemed unfinished, the PNG was even crustier, and due to the blocks not working, it was a challenge. I eventually gave in and used a glitch I had found earlier in World 1 Level 1. Basically, if you crouch jump into the corner of a block, you can flip in, then do a backwards crouch jump, which will fling Mario forwards. Unfortunately, I seemed to fling too far, as I sped past the map and into the abyss. I'd seen enough of this game, so I pressed Alt F4 to close it, and nothing happened. I pressed the X, nothing happened. Task Manager? Useless. Nothing closed this game. I had no other choice but to just stare at Mario, flying to the right until the assets were unloaded. It didn't take long until only Mario was left, at this point I was still busy looking for other ways to close it. Then the game suddenly changes. Changes, a lot. I was suddenly thrown into first person mode, stuck inside of an infinite bright landscape, with images of people with red squares over their faces flying across the screen. There was a path down the middle that I was supposed to go through, but I couldn't move. I could only look left and right. There was no longer a midi, just ambience of what sounded like a beach. It wasn't very long until red text started fading on the screen. Jim AI Progress Report Jim has recognized 21% of faces as human. Jim has discarded 79% of faces as inhuman. Updating Jim. The three commas kept being rewritten, so it was probably a loading screen. I was super confused and on edge, so I turned off my computer in hopes that it would be closed. In reality when I booted up my computer again, the game was in full screen. And it was just a still image. Turns out this game was ransomware, demanding a ludicrous $1 in Bitcoin too. A low quality 3D render of Mario hanging loomed next to the text, this was the perfect combination of elements to stress me out. What if my curiosity had finally fucked me over? Then there would be nobody to blame but myself. Thankfully the game was made for Windows XP, so all of my files were safe. Two weeks later, I had completely forgotten about this game. That was until my computer randomly opened it up again. This was weird, because I had deleted it from my computer the second I saw that ransomware screen. I was in the white void with the floating faces again, but this time I could move. I made my way to the end of the path and was presented with a lever. After some serious consideration, and the game still not being able to close, I pulled it. The game closed, and I was met with an error message. Jim deleted. Facade neutered. As it said, Jim was gone, and the game didn't work. At this point I was able to decompile the game and find all of these images which is how I've been supplying them here. I am still lost on what Jim even is, why it was being covered up by this game, why it was suddenly ransomware, and why it let me delete the entire operation. 
but whilst writing this story, I've learned quite a lot about why those two last things I was confused about happened. Don't worry, I'll be brief in my explanation. Basically that white void place was an evaluation area for Gem AI, whatever that was. Only the people who made the game were supposed to access it, but through some error in the game's sloppy coding, I was in. This was also why I couldn't move at first, I entered in such a robust way some code was overridden by Mario's movement code. Only once though. The ransomware thing was supposed to be a punishment for people like me who found a way in the admin-only area, but the code was outdated to Windows XP, thus doing nothing. This made the game think I was an administrator, as the hacker trying to play smart was supposedly taken care of. That's why I could move and delete everything. I'm still unsure about the actual game though. Why was it there? It would have been easier to get rid of the game and not publish this to the public at all. If I have anything positive to give from the experience, it's that I'm never visiting websites like this again.